Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. No, I didn't know anything about that. Well, it's news to me. I thought he was working for the clampdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Julie's been working for the drug squad, and Ivan meets G.I. Joe this Friday, so it's all wrapped up. Oh, sorry. I was going to tell you about that. Gotcha. Well, I've got something to take care of here. Can I call you back about that? Thanks. Bye now. Alex, back again, huh? This is unexpected. I thought I'd seen the last of you a couple of weeks ago. Don't get me wrong, it's always nice to see you. I just thought that the last time we'd found the right job for you, that's all. But then, I guess chicken marinating is an acquired taste. Let's see what we have here. Well, it looks like there isn't all that much left. We've offered you the office, offered you the shop, bus driver, ambulance man, ticket inspector. Well, now this is interesting. Do you want to make tea at the BBC? Make it happen. To whom it may concern. In response to your advertisement in the Capital Journal, Daily Herald, Hot Sex Weekly, to be honest, I got your address from a bathroom wall. I wish to submit my resume for consideration in the position of Administrative Assistant, Dishwasher, Executive Vice President. In this position, I seek to utilize my considerable skills in the fields of office work. Does anyone know what the hell comes after F? General computer operations. And customer service. I am a graduate of State University. No fooling. I really am. And my previous work experience includes sales, management, and the closed captioning of adult films for the hard of hearing. During college, I developed my organizational and leadership skills as president of two separate student organizations and as a receptionist in the campus residence hall. After graduation, I expanded on my existing experience as a shift manager at Bookworm Video, an ironically named local business. They hired me. Who are you to resist, huh? But I digress. I can be reached at either of the above phone numbers or at Hooters on 9th Street. Ask for Big Papa. In conclusion, I think... I would be a great asset to your organization, and you would be an idiot if you didn't hire me. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. You, you. you know I'm fucking with you, right? Anyways, give me a call sometime, man. It's like we never hang out, you know, like we used to. Like, like that one time when we got all those jerks in the movie and then the thing that's the, the fucking cops. Huh? What? I fucking mowed it already. Get off my back. I'll do it tomorrow. Jesus. Dear Mr. Perez, thank you for your interest in Prime Corp, the Midwest home for quality exterior illumination and volatile chemicals. We regret to inform you that...
Mr. Perez, recently you submitted your resume to Rodimacorp in reference to vacancy posting number 5150J. Unfortunately, Dear Mr. Pear, We here at Ultra Magna Corp wish to thank you for your interest in our organization. As you know, Ultra Magna Corp prides itself on choosing only the best and brightest applicants to take part in its comprehensive five-week training program. Regrettably, you are not one of these people. Joe, thanks for sending another resume. I'm this close to a complete set. However... Dear Occupant, this letter is to inform you that you have been pre-declined for employment. Placed on our national no-hire list. You're fucking with us, right? To have to train you would expose our ignorance about what the job entails. If you send us any more resumes, we'll be forced to treat you as a stalker. <laughs> Not for nothing, but on paper you look retarded or something. Why do you torment us? You applied on the second Tuesday of the month, which is astrologically unsound. Unfortunately, you suck. You are amusingly unqualified. It's not us. It's you. You have the same last name as a guy I knew in high school, and he was a real asshole. And your favorite Star Wars movie is Jedi. I haven't seen you in the resources department about this matter, and, after much discussion, we feel that we've come up with a solution that will please everyone concerned. Killed yourself? 